Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Megan and I'm really glad you're watching this. This video is on another mode of relief I found um, after being diagnosed with craniocervical instability and atlantoaxial instability and in the months that I was waiting for um, to either receive prolotherapy or get a fusion surgery. Um, a lot of my journey and much of what I share on this channel um, are things that alleviated some pain and gave relief to some symptoms in the agony and um, in the misery of the months of waiting for a fix. Um, and so, and I think that's typically a lot of people's stories. Um, there is just usually a long waiting period before being able to get um, the bigger fixes, I guess you could say. And so one of those for me and what I'm sharing is a form of cervical traction. I've talked several times about traction on this channel, but one I haven't shared yet is cervical traction via a decompression table. So for a four month period, I would go to a chiropractor off, chiropractic office and be put on a decompression table that gave me cervical traction, lifted up the base of my skull through a machine. Um, and I did that for four months, like I said, um, once a week. And I was on the table for about 12 minutes and I believe I had about um, 20 pounds of weight to lift up my head. Um, and so, like always, um, I preface with, I'm not a doctor. I'm not sure if this practice is safe for you um, or a good idea. So I would su say, um, take it up with your doctors and make a judgment call whether you think it's safe or not. For me, um, none of my doctors objected at the time. I um, just had a low quality of life for several months and I had so much relief for the from the decompression table that it seemed like a no-brainer to give you guys some context. When I would go on the table, sometimes I would just be completely out of it. I'd be slurring my words, sometimes unable to talk, um, in full dysautonomic flares, just not doing well. And when I was on the decompression table, about four minutes in, um, my eyes would open back up. I'd be able to talk again, or I'd be able to talk clearly. I'd be able to think better. My brain fog would dissipate. The numbness and tingling in my legs would go away. The pressure and pain in my head would subside. If it didn't take away all of my symptoms, I won't go through them all because it's a really long list, but if it didn't take them all away, it alleviated some of them for a time. And so for me, this was just another mode of relief. Um, I knew in the four months that I did this, I knew that it wasn't going to be a long-term thing. My plan was always to get a fusion surgery or to get prolotherapy on my neck because my relief from manual traction and from bracing was so drastic that I knew I needed um, a more permanent fix. And so I knew that the chiropractic and the decompression table and the manual traction were always going to be temporary. Um, but I would say like that took me a while to find. I figured that out through um, word of mouth through other people. And I think um, that is how a lot of these things are figured out. Um, if you're lucky to find relief along the way, um, such as cervical traction and manual traction, what works, what doesn't, because this area um, and the just the medical conditions I have, I know at least, are um, under-researched. There is just less knowledge about them, uh, and it makes it really difficult to um, live a bearable life and so that is why I'm sharing this. Um, it was a relief to me and I hope that if you are in a similar boat and a decompression table is an option for you, I hope it might be relieving to you as well.